with this episode being called not in the slightest and with how last episode ended i'm so curious about what's gonna happen What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 63. Last episode, we had Ladros absorbing Fauna's magic, which I thought that was going to take him out. But then he is like, uh, Fonzel even said he's stronger than spirit magic, which the Salamander spirit was the most combat heavy of all the spirits in terms of magic. So I was like, how strong is this motherfucker? But then the queen was talking about, I thought you'd be able to do it, Asta, because you're one of their descendants. Don't know what that means. But then she did some of her ancient blood magic, and he's all over here, heart beating, eyes red. Who knows what's going on with that? Let me watch this episode. I'm not going to waste any more time. Remember, if you guys want Patreon, all that is available to you guys. Follow me on all my social medias, especially Twitter. Let's do this. Black Clover, episode 63, not in the slightest. Oh my lord. This animation style is crazy. Is he like flashing through his life? I'm loving these transitions. This shit looks insane. Some of the best animation this show's had, no joke. Kurama? That's exactly the face I would have. So it's making a deal with the devil, literally. You know, let me take your body for a little bit. I love that response from Asa, not even faltering. Ooh, the flashbacks. That was when he first got that grimoire, right? In episode one. So if this isn't depression, then what is this? Anger? This what the hell? We got red lightning. You know shit's going down if you got red motherfucking lightning. That's gonna say the five represents the devil or demons or some shit again. Wasn't it? Demons? Within a fifth leaf. A demon. Yeah, imagine them seeing Asta. I'll be like, what the fuck? I literally have goosebumps right now, guys. Like, actual chills. Ooh, what the hell? The hell? What the hell? The CG camera work on this shit is... We're going into POVs. This is fucking insane. I can't even tell what's going on. That's how quickly these guys are moving. It's like Dragon Ball Z. This fight just I'm not even I'm not even able to say anything. That transition was crazy. Oh my The Demon Dweller Sword, yep. And draining the wielder's magic. Ah, that's the only reason Asta can. Oh, so it's the opposite. Using the power of my blood, which I transfuse during your treatment. That I said, I see. I was wondering what she did. She is experimenting over here. I see. That's actually a great explanation for how this came to be. Damn, they're really trying to go all in on this flowy animation. Asa is on his ass, though. He is zooming. They're zooming. That is cr oh my god, it's literally piercing mountains. Look how fast they're moving, they're both- Jesus Christ. Oh, that was quite the mean hook right there.
He is straight dragon. Asta does not care though. Just continuously walks like nothing happened. Huh. Who is their kin? Apparently she was wrong. A sudden mutation kept mana from dwelling in you? Okay, okay. So, is there a race of people? Or maybe demons that are known to not have magic? So she, so she assumed he fell under that class of race? That's, you know, one of their descendants. But no, she now thinks it's just he had some sort of weird... What's the word she just used? Uh, mutation, like the X-Men, where genes mutate all the time, you know, like uh, kind of like My Hero Academia, where the genes just mutated over time until people started developing powers. So he, hmm, I'm so curious. I still think, obviously, he's one of those descendants, whatever that race may be, but she now thinks he's just a defective human. But he's still able to do this. That's so interesting. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, okay, 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 queen. Salamander Flame Dragon. In your presence, all magic which runs this whole world is meaningless. So finish him. It's no use. The flood of anti magic homes in on mana. It's I, that's so crazy. Look at that. <laughs> that visualization would be a black shooting star climbing into the sky. Oh my god. I would make a wish upon that shit. <laughs> Ooh, please. Black Meteorite? Okay. That, first off, that was a great shot, but that was such a cool name. Black Meteorite? Are you fucking kidding me? And then he flies under him for the heroic pose when he lands. Come on, man. It was so badass. Oh my god. His imbued mage stones are broken. Now, is it, we deal with this with a lot of anime main characters. When the darkness in them rises up, how do they deal with the darkness? Yup. Is he gonna go for the execution, or is he gonna talk him out? Is he gonna... This is a really good question. Let us find out. Kill me. I'm ready. He's even asking for it. I don't think Asa's gonna do it, obviously, but... This is the Asta that we all know and love. This is my boy. Why was I even worried about him, bro? Asta is the goat. He's even worried about Ladros, bro. Did you just see the fight you guys just had? That does do shit to you. They didn't say that definitely previously before. That was imbued stones. I am glad the stones are gone so he can talk somewhat normally, and that's that's cool, but I'm glad he recognized Asta. That's what I'm saying. I'm over here with Noel just worried for nothing. And then it just dissipates. I have faith that you will. Imagine not knowing that feeling, man. Ooh. His muscles are probably achy, breaky, fucking... Ah, uh, the queen is gonna help out? Or is she gonna go with her original plan and try to fuck him over right now? I can't lie. That was a really cool entrance, though, <laughs> with them eclipsing the sun for a quick second. Bro, I really wanted to see you fight, though. That would be very nice of her if she did that. You would get some some cool points in my book, Queen.
I'm guessing it's her blood magic. I'm hoping it's for the good, though. I'm praying this is not bad. It's like crucifixion on blood crosses. Fresh blood execution ground? That does not sound good to me. Is it the blood she th was flowing through his body earlier during the transfusion? She can fuck with it? Yeah. Okay, Katara. Jesus Christ. Oh, she's forcing him to take the sword out and give her the sword. He's not even conscious, it seems. It's purely like a puppet. <sighs> it's a good plan. And she can control the limiters on it, like forcing him to go in one of those rampages, you know? Forcing the demon to take over, essentially. That's a very powerful weapon in a magic-filled world. Yep, she can just force him back into this mode. Kill. Oh no, this is not gonna happen. I just want to know what's gonna, how this is gonna turn out. Ah. <sighs> No Petite Clover on that one. Interesting. That was a fantastic episode, though. The fight between Ladros and Asta was too much for me to even process. Some of the camera work and some of the actual, like, the, like it was so flowy. I could tell they were trying to go for that flowiness, which I really, I do thoroughly enjoy when I can hit it successfully. Some, some parts of it were a little wonky, a little iffy. I've been told the animation in the show gets ridiculously good as it goes better so you know like this definitely by no means was bad it was just so uniquely animated like i don't think i've ever seen a fight animated the exact style that that was right there that was crazy but then for oh, we had so much go down this episode with the demon kurama we can call him trying to make a deal with asta asta saying hell no but then the demon saying there are some things you can't run up on you know there are some things you just can't do and then even though he said that Asa was still somewhat able to control it, he was talking and all that, and like that's so crazy to me. And the queen, I like the queen, I like the the reason as to why it happened. Normally, with the anti-magic sword, it sucks the magic away from the person using it. So the fact that Asa has no magic, it's actually using the anti-magic of the blade and it's flowing through Asa, but he's unknowingly like emitting it, not letting it stay within him, you know, to recharge. Or, but she took off the limiters when she put her blood through him so it was able to go fully into him and he wasn't going to be emitting it anymore so it just kind of built up and then she oh it's just crazy and now because of that she can forcefully like engage that mode and uh, like i said this is going to be insane i have no idea what's going to happen but i cannot wait to find out because i know obviously noel and all of them are not going to die i just want to know what's going to happen the queen was going to get some cool points in my book but no she is being the queen I can't really blame her for it. I'm just so curious. Damn, that was such a good episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh my lord, such a great fight. Such a great scene. Seeing what happens at the end there. Oh, I oh so many cool visualizations. I love Ladros being able to clear his mind and being able to talk a little more freely. Recognize Asa as the cool guy he is. Always amazing. Um, I'll catch you in this next episode, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys. Have a great day.